Hi everyone, Aaron here from MyBeerJourney.com and today we have another episode and I'm very grateful to have a friend of mine here on the show. This is Nigel. Hi everyone. And uh, today I want to show you something special. Um, in fact, Nigel actually just came back from Western Australia and he's been over to the uh, Little Creatures Brewery over there. So today I thought we'd have a look at the Little Creatures Pale Ale. So. Let's get straight into it. We'll get um, see what I think about this and see what Nigel thinks about this as well. But um, how did you find the brewery? Pretty good? Yeah, it was a great little brewery. It's, it wasn't very large at all, but um, uh, yeah, watch the pour. <laughs> they, um, it was a really interesting little um, bar, you could say that they had uh, food and all the other things there, but everyone was really friendly. I actually went there on their 10th birthday, um, which was kind of interesting. And yeah. they, um, they have a, the staff are really friendly. They poured out all the different beers for you to give a try. So it was quite fun. Yeah. I, I really think that I need to do a brewery tour again. <laughs> I think it's definitely on the cards. But um, anyway, let's have a look at this one. So Nigel's cracked his open and I'll just show you this. It's a pale ale, but it is quite amber. It's a lot more amber than than some of the other uh, pale ales that I've that I've actually tried before. They are pretty strong beers. It smells all right. It's um, nice and hoppy, and no, it doesn't smell of uh, any sort of fruit flavours or anything like that. But I've never had this before. But you have, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there is a, there actually there is a bit of fruit in this. I taste a bit of passion fruit. Can you taste passion fruit? Or maybe it's just the strong hops. What sort of taste do you get? I think get? you find that's strong hops. Just the strong yeah. hops, yeah. 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 But it's um it is actually quite strong. It's a lot more amber than I thought it would be. And it is um, from as I said from Little Creatures Pale Ale there in Western Australia, Fremantle. Uh, so it's an Australian brew. Or the Western Australian people, it's the Frio, not Fremantle. Uh, I know, I'm yes, saying it's yeah. Fremantle on there, they call yeah. it the Frio. The, the local Frio, thing. okay. Yeah. It's 5.2% alcohol and um, nice, nice bottle. Uh, pretty unique branding on the cap. Hold it. I'll show you the cap. So it's got the little, what is that, a cherub or? A, Little cherub or angel or something. It's all angel, yeah. Little cherub angel I should have been wearing my shirt. I've got a. You got a shirt. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't matter. So. Which basically says drink a little. Drink for, a little. For drink, little creatures. Little creatures. And then has the angel, on the back. Yeah. So let's um. Show you the six pack. Comes in the six pack. But most importantly, here's the carton. So. As you can see, it's a very nondescript box, and you know, if you've watched any of my other shows, you'll know that I really like plain and simple, and this is about as plain and simple as I think I've ever seen a, a plain cardboard carton uh, with the uh, branding of the little creature's cherub on the side. Uh, very nondescript. I like it. I like it a lot. As far as the, the beer, I, I think um, it's very strong and it's very hoppy. I like it. I, I, I have a... Um, have a rating system on the show. I have uh, I have a, a low shelf, a mid shelf, and a top shelf beer, and um, I think I'll put this one on my top shelf. What, what do you think of it? I think it's actually known as a top shelf beer. Um, as Aaron already knows, I'm not much of a beer drinker. Yeah, sorry, I should have mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> I should have mentioned that. Um, actually, I'm not I'm not minding it this time. I have to say, when I last drank it, um, maybe I didn't have the pale ale. But it was just a bit too strong for me. This is very strong. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm blown away with how strong this actually is. The because they've got ones that are much stronger than this again. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think they've got four or five different ones. Ones like it's almost you can't see through it. It's that thick. Yeah, that's um, almost like a stout or something. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, but for a pale ale, unless it's the glass, but for a pale ale, that's that's pretty. That's no, pretty it's, orange. It's still pretty. That's yeah. pretty orange. So, um, very amber. 
But anyway, I, I like it. So this is the pale ale, you're right, they, they do have other ones. And, and I'd probably, I'd like to test some of those other ones as well. But as far as a, as far as a beer goes, I think it's pretty good. And this one was about, um, you know, sub $60 uh, for a carton of 24 um, in Australia at the moment. So, um, yeah, 330 mil bottles and 5.2%. So it is a strong. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll enjoy it anyway. It's, we've just had our lunch and this is a good yeah, after good, lunch. It's a good, good finish. Really good. Nothing like having beers in the middle of a weekday. <laughs> <laughs> and lucky it's Friday. Yeah, Friday. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But anyway, everyone, if you uh, have a chance, get yourself down to the bottle shop and have a look for the little creatures. I'll actually, I've been on their website earlier today. They have a really good website. Have you been to their website? No, I no really good website. Um, nice and simple there as well. So they're following the simple theme all the way through, which is good. And um, I don't know if you can find it in that many bars on tap. No, it's the, I, I haven't really seen it. I, I didn't know much about it. The only it. one I know of in Brisbane is the Platform Bar. Okay. Um, but they have a lot of the out there beers. Yeah, yeah. It, it is a boutique beer, but it is getting bigger. Yeah. It, the, the brewery is bigger than obviously just a normal boutique one still one uh, you it know is one fairly, it is fairly yeah. big they've got two big areas um as i was saying it's got quite a, a cute little bar um they have all these little stuffed animals everywhere being little creatures stuck up in yeah. all yeah. the wire frames and everything else so um and it's right on the water which is kind of nice um nice position there yeah. you can sit out on the deck there as well so definitely worthwhile if you get to perth to go about a five minute walk so for for us guys who are over here on the east coast to do a five and a half hour plane ride to get over yeah. there just to go to the brewery it probably isn't going to happen but if you're over there definitely do it i think it's a good idea yeah well yeah. we had a big crew of us and a lot of people um well i ended up being there going there twice and a lot of people went there for a large portion of their time so they went in and didn't come out yeah. <laughs> but anyway nigel cheers right. cheers thanks thanks very much for being on the show and listen if you're out there check out little creatures and anyway we're on itunes comment on the blog if you want and we'll catch you again next time Hooroo. see ya